Good morning, everyone. It's Eric with His and Hers HHQ. Um, I know it's been a little bit, so before we get into the update on the Dracula's Hers, the under 1,000 sub group build, um, I wanted to share some things with everyone. First, I'm working with a, well, new uh platform here for the camera so we're seeing how it works um second as stressful as it's been um i know if you have been following along you know that my wife and i had been looking for a house since december well with the <laughs> with the new grandbaby right around the corner coming up here in june we were cutting it close uh, we took a look at a house um, uh, this weekend. It's actually two weeks ago. Um, we liked it, put in an offer, and they accepted. So now over the past week, um, we've been uh, doing all the stuff, tracking down paperwork, doing all the um signing this and signing that getting things situated so we can um close <laughs> just in time for the new grandbaby so we're kind of excited as long as there's one <laughs> one great big hurdle left um and of course for those of you military you or veterans you understand this and you're using you had to use your VA loan um we have to get past that last hurdle the uh, appraisal um as long as everything works out then starting let's see the first week of June, actually, um, I will do a video from a new headquarters. So, yay, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but again, we've been really, really busy. So, I haven't gotten as far along on Dracula's Hearse as I would like. And I have, um, I've already been doing, um, some work on another build it's a special project and uh what we're trying to do is get that one done pretty quick and have it all as one video um so yeah just be looking out for that that's a special um that'll be a special video i'll give you a teaser though it involves a diorama now all of that being said, let's get to uh, Dracula's hearse real quick. Um, again, I haven't gotten, I wanted to get uh, this part here shaped, but I haven't yet quite gotten there um, because I had been stressing how the heck I was going to accomplish the look on the box of, uh, well, the hers. So, as you can see, I've got a few things going here. Let's try to get that slipped into place so you can get the full sense of what I'm looking for here. Okay. The interior is just loosely done up here, so I have a sense of feeling where it goes. Okay, we're going to set that here. And then we're going to go with this. This here is ready for um, prime and color. I am going to line the interior um, I don't know, I, hopefully you can see it pretty good. Um, I'm actually, I, I love the way this turned out. Now I'm not too concerned, I've got a little bit more cleanup, but uh, I'm not too concerned how the bottom looks. 
because it'll actually be completely mounted in the car and it'll be there but it'll be on a raised pedestal and when I said it will be lined I've got this stuff here I've got uh, this red satin this stuff is um, fairly thin but it's really really nice so once the coffin is situated I have all the paint done uh, the handles in place I'll get the uh, lining done speaking of lining the interior of the uh, body I'm going to use this white satin uh, it's the same material as this stuff here so it's fairly thin I'm just plotting out how I'm going to get that in, into the interior. I'm going to take a bunch of these and literally a bunch of them and just stick them to a big sheet of cardboard, uh, throw some primer on them and some um, gold paint. That way I have gold buttons for the... Uh, white satin and I've got this gold ribbon this gold metallic ribbon I'm going to try perhaps I was thinking of folding it or something to kind you know kind of create um, a little bit of separation uh, on the interior between the cushion panels I guess you could say I'm thinking I'm going to use that, something like that. But onto the box part itself, the main body here, I was really concerned. Like, I mean, I was literally racking my brain how I was going to accomplish the look that I was going for. And it was uh, two nights ago trying to get to sleep I was having one of my rough um, flashback nights and wound up thinking about the model and how I would do um, do this and well I managed to accomplish the the look I think I was going for this here I know it's gray that's um, putty spread out there but I've got these quarter rounds and I stepped them up so as to create a column and this one needs to I need to finish shaping it and getting it cleaned up but that is what I'm looking for is the columns will be front and back with this here I want to do something decorative along the bottom edge but then it'll be something like that I've got the top off well not off I've got this part in uh, for stability I cut out the square or the rectangle so I could still get in there it'll be easier to do prime and paint and it'll be easier to um, get the cloth in there because once all of this is done uh, I'm going to get get it assembled all of this assembled here and then put um, the paint and primer on it because I want to get uh, filler putty on the inside here and kind of clean it up some so that's where I'm at. Um, let's see if we can adjust this angle just a little bit more. It's it's a work in progress. We'll get this figured out. Um, but otherwise, I I'm trucking along on this, but. As I said, I have been busy, uh, but I am getting this done, and I am getting that other video done. So, 
um, keep a lookout for that. And the next video, my hope is there will be prime, if not paint, on this thing. And, of course, the casket will be uh, completed. I will be um, forming a an actual top so it'll stick out just a little bit here. And I've got a few things that I want to do for the top decoration. And, of course, as I said before, my goal is to have may maybe this bat as somewhere in the center for uh, upper decoration. And then perhaps the bats here. Somewhere in the window. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm working out how I'm going to do the back end. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to have it extend just a little bit further. Angle it up here. So it kind of looks like a drop, uh, drop ramp and a flip top. So I, I've got a bit going on, but... I've, I'm pretty well uh, trucking along, especially since I got the columns figured out and I'll get the back columns done after I've got this shaped. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm really moving along. I appreciate everybody um, checking this out. I know I'm behind. I jumped in on this group build, fully expecting to be much further along uh, by now, but... Um, you know, it life happens, and in this case, it's a big life thing, and I really appreciate everybody's patience. Um, and again, I thank everybody for uh, subscribing, all my old subscribers and new. You all are a fantastic bunch, and um, I, I thank you all, all the views, all the subscribers, all of you. I really do appreciate it. I'm Eric with His and Hers HHQ. If you haven't yet, head on over to Facebook and follow us at His and Hers Hobby Headquarters. Take a moment, like, subscribe, share the content, share the love of scale model building. It truly is a medium limited only by your imagination. You build for you. And as always, take a moment, comment below. It may be five minutes, it may be a few days, but I do try to be as interactive as possible, and I really do appreciate all the comments and all the support. This here is a phenomenal community, and I'm absolutely honored to be a part of it. Thank you. I'm Eric. Have a good day.